This is a demonstration of the Epley maneuver that you can do in the home. Now, it's always important that you see a vestibular specialist prior to doing any of these maneuvers because number one, we have to diagnose and rule in the fact that you do have benign proxismal positional vertigo, BPPV. And furthermore, a vestibular specialist needs to observe the nystagmus pattern of your eyes during an episode in order to determine which canal is affected. Once we have, have all that information, if you've already seen a vestibular specialist and they tell you you have posterior canal, anterior canal, lateral canal, then you could do some of these home techniques to help for self-clearance. Let's assume Sophia has already been diagnosed with a right posterior canal symptom uh, or condition, so she was advised to do a Epley maneuver at home. So let's, do, let's, let's demonstrate the Epley maneuver at home that you can do independently for the right posterior canal. So Sophia, get into that long sit position that we talked about with the feet up on the table. Good, scoot forward a little bit. Good. So we have the, uh, a table slightly extended. If you don't have a table that slightly extends like this, you can have your head kind of slightly hanging off of a bed, which would also kind of do the same thing, getting that cervical extension. So right posterior canal, we want to turn the head 45 degrees to the right. I'm gonna say one, two, three, go, or if I'm, when you're at home alone, you say one, two, three, go. So why don't you do that for me, uh, Sophia? I want you to say one, two, three, go, and then come all the way down. One, two, three, go. Good. So Sophia's lying all the way down, very flat. She's got her head still 45 degrees to the right, all right? At home, when you have vertigo on your, on your own, um, wait until the vertigo stops, keep breathing, it will subside, okay? 30 seconds after it subsides, we roll for, uh, 90 degrees to the left. So do that for me now, perfect. So now we're about 90, we're now 45 degrees rotation to the left. Again, hopefully there's no vertigo here, but in the next position there may very well be and that would be a good thing, okay? That means the debris is moving. We wait 30 seconds uh, after the vertigo is stopped or if there's no vertigo, just wait 30 seconds, okay? The next position, we wanna roll all the way onto your side with your uh, face pointing down. So we can do that nice and quickly and one, two, three, go, good. Perfect, you can even tuck that chin down to help. Okay, again, you may have vertigo in this position. If you do, 30 seconds after the vertigo subsides, and then you may get up slowly. So you're gonna bend the knees up, okay? And sit up nice and slowly with the head still in the same position, and you can now straighten out. Perfect, how do you feel? Great. Good.